Gorilla Monsoon here at ringside with my colleague Jesse the Body Ventura. That's right, Gorilla. I'm pumped up. I'm here to call it like it is, as Jesse the Body always does. A tremendous happening right here. You won't find any better action anywhere. Unbelievable. Well, I'll tell you what, Gorilla. I'm pumped up. I'm happy to be a part of it. It's great oh, to right. be back with you. It's my pleasure to be here with you and part of this happening. Unbelievable. Here we go. Time for talk is ended. Absolutely. They're ready. They've trained hard. What a matchup this is going to be, Gorilla oh, Monsoon. Great. Unbelievable ovation as they're hanging off the rafters. Just take a look at the fantastic spill of a crowd here for this extravaganza. The World Wrestling Federation outdoing itself in presenting this unbelievable part of wrestling. Oh, I'm, I'm so excited, Jess. You can, you can feel the electricity in the air here. You can grab a hold of it, touch it, cut it. That's right. It's everything I expected it to be, Gino Monson. Well, you said that right, Jesse. And this is just an international affair. We're just deluged by cameramen and newspaper reporters from all over the entire world wanting to cover this event. Oh, boy, it's a happening. This is going to be a classic matchup. You're going to see some tremendous moves in this bout. Speed, agility, knowledge, it's all in there. All the ingredients right. necessary for a great match. This will separate the men from the boys right here. Well, Gorilla, you can feel the tension right now. This is what it's all come down to. You can cut it with a knife. You can feel the electricity in the air. You're going to see some fine wrestling here. Absolutely. Take a look at the charisma. Take a look at the power pack. Oh, definitely. They're both in great shape. Great shape. I got to do my normal. Okay. Say hi to my four biggest fans in Minneapolis. Terry Tyrell, Jaden, Jeremiah. They could be for What are you talking about? I don't know. I never heard you say hello to anybody else before. Yeah, you're a long way from home, Jeff. Halfway across the country. <laughs> Prince is watching at my house. Oh, he's a big fan, you know. I understood just that uh, your dog was named Prince. Is that is that right? No. Oh. Oh. Someone misinformed me. You're 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 all full of misinformation, not so. Could 
sold for an hour and a half. Definitely. I'll tell you, these are like two big Mack trucks colliding head on. Here is a little force in the immovable object. Both of these guys will be pulling out all the stops. You can bet on that one. Can you imagine just what's going through the minds of these two individuals? Gorilla, huh? how would you like to be that little referee having to try to contain these two? Well, that's where you use the count, Jess. You don't try to physically stop between these guys where you can squash like a grape. I like to take my time, too. It's a psych-out thing, Absolutely. Gorilla Monsu. It's a psych-out. You get your opponent, you get him upset. Just those little added ledge edges can mean the difference between victory or defeat. Very, very important part of professional wrestling is psychology, and no one knows it any better than my colleague. Very well put, Well, it's important, the pace of a match. Some guys like a slower pace, other guys like a faster pace. And if you can get your opponent to wrestle at the pace you want to go at, that's to your advantage at all times. You know that as well as I do, Gino. My, my key was never play another man's game, Jess. That's right. You know, they can play your game if at all possible. Don't play his, and if you can't get either one, then just wing it. That's right. Seesaw battle going on here, Jess. Definitely a good, good matchup. How quick the moment can change in professional wrestling to tie turn, so to speak. If you don't have a face of wrestling knowledge, you can forget about it. That's right, that's right. Unless possibly you're an awesome individual like a King Paul Bundy. Well, I understand that he also has a King Paul Bundy. That makes it doubly bad. Doubly bad. Give up. You have a dynamite with a short fuse. Apparently so some damage bad. done to that uh, uh, tore a hamstring in there, Jeff. Hamstring or awesome. whatever, sure. It happens all the time, plenty of injuries. That's what I talked about. I, I thought it was a stupid move. Well, I, I disagreed with you then, and I disagree with you now. Yeah, yeah. Well, look, apparently he's injured himself. It happens all the time, Jesse. It goes with the territory. I understand somebody's in jeopardy of you losing their yacht, Jess. Is that correct? Who? I don't know. One of your billionaire friends. I don't know. Not Marv. Oh, no. I didn't say that. Oh, no. I know you like to rub elbows with this. No, 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 no. They like to rub elbows oh. with me. Sorry. Find out all the Hollywood gossip. Sure. I was on the plane the other day with Farrah Fawcett. Couldn't keep her away from me. Had to call the stewardesses for help. Can you substantiate that? Certainly. Ryan O'Neill saw the whole thing. I doubt it. Had a chance to see Mr. Perfect's father, Larry the Axe Henry. Yes, I did. Too. Still got a 24 inch neck. He said he had to lose 20 pounds. I said, get your neck down to 18, you'll lose oh, it. Oh, one of the big fans, Jess, of the WWF. Yeah, Sugar Ray Leonard. I guess you'd call him the undisputed middleweight champ now, right? I'd dispute it, though, because I think Marvin Hagler won. Well, you have enough undisputed things to claim, Jess. Bob Uecker was here last year, what a guy. Well, I won't talk so good about Bob Uecker to me. He ain't such a great guy. How about Vanna White, then? Well, I keep hush on man. Oh, Bobby, welcome! Yeah. All right! I've ever had an option renewed. Second year for me, Gorilla. Glad to have you back. Well, I guess it's okay. You know, like they said, they renewed your contract. Like you said, you never got that in baseball. You were one year with each team there. Hey, all right. Come on. I'm looking forward to it, man. Good to be back with you and you. I'm going to have trouble, I can tell, here. City B. Hey, the youth at the body. I don't think Vanna White has to worry about getting chased around by these two. Having a good time eluding Mr. Baseball. Oh, she's definitely here, you. Yeah, I'm supposed to meet her. That's the oh, main reason you're here. That's your main reason for being yeah, here, yeah. Mr. Anna White. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm supposed to meet her here someplace. Well, oh. you, do you, do you have any idea that she's in love with me? Uh, I, I saw something about that in some tablet. I bet, no, that's not her. It was, uh, in fact, the National Examiner, you. Is I that where it was? Stage, yes. She wouldn't come here unless she got a date for me. I was very upset about that. Jack Tunney never asked me. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm Woo! sure you're aware, you, that the body is uh, going to be behind the broadcast to move as well for baseball. Yes, I know that. I heard all about it. Well, I'll tell you what, you, you'll never see nothing like this in baseball, will you? Ah, this looks like the final day of cutdown day in spring training to me. <laughs> I love it. 
Boy, Dr. Frank Joe would have a picnic at this thing. Hey, Ooh. Euchre, Woo. know something? Yeah, what? With your lifetime batting average of 200, that means with every swing, you could only hit one guy out of five. The only thing, if I ever had a good year, it would mess me all up now, you know? Woo! Give up. That's why I never wanted to be an MVP.